And tonight, we've obtained a 911 call made by a West Nassau High School player who was shot and killed. Family members say 16-year-old sophomore Trent Fort died after being shot in the chest. Today, deputies say the shooting happened after a drug deal that turned violent. Three teens are now in custody in connection to the crime. News for Jack's reporter Corley Field joins us live from West Nassau High School with that 911 call. Corley. Janice, the caller on the phone sounds frantic, saying his friend had just been shot. Investigators say that Trent Fort was brought here to the high school after he was shot. And in the call, you can tell the caller is distracted by everything that is happening around them. Nassau County 911 was suggesting an emergency. Okay. My, my friend got shot. Your friend got shot? Uh, I don't know where he got shot. This is the first call made after 16-year-old West Nassau High School football player Trent Fort was shot and killed in the Spring Lake Estates neighborhood Monday afternoon. Hey, who shot him? Uh, we don't know. We, they came up to the car and he shot. Yeah. Did, were they in the car? Were they on foot? No, we were going to pick up our friend and he ran up to the car and shot him. Okay, so someone went up to the corner and shot him. The dispatcher becomes frustrated as the caller appears to be distracted instead of answering questions. Sir, I need y'all to talk to me and not each other, okay? We gotta have, have these questions answered. Who went up to the car? Who went up to the car? Did we got them all coming to you. What I need to know right now is who's still there. No, ma'am, no, ma'am. The caller isn't able to give dispatch details about the suspects. Okay, was he wearing blue jeans? Was he wearing shorts? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, all right, who are you? I come down. Flag him down. Where are you there? The line goes dead. Investigators say three teens are now in custody. They say the motive behind the deadly shooting that killed Trent Ford was a drug deal that turned violent. Ford's mother says her son had dreams of playing football in college and never got into trouble. I don't know why they killed my child. My kid didn't have guns. He didn't walk with guns. He didn't do all that. He was just a 16-year-old normal kid. And they killed him for nothing. Investigators are not releasing the names of the three suspects because they are all under the age of 18. But investigators say that they are all facing multiple charges and the shooter could face a second degree murder charge eventually, according to deputies. Now, they did say that Ford and the suspects knew each other and they all went to school here at West Nassau High School. This is an ongoing investigation and we'll continue to keep you updated as soon as we know more. Reporting live from Nassau County, Corley Peel, Channel 4. The local station. Corley, now we know that the school increased security today following the shooting. Will they continue to do that throughout the week? They will. School leaders tell me that they're going to amp up security again tomorrow. And again, this shooting did not happen at this school, but they're still going to take safety precautions. They're going to be checking students' backpacks and making sure that they park immediately. They don't stay in the parking lot right after they park at the school and they go inside right after that. All right, again, Corley Pill reporting live from Nassau County. Thank you, Corley.